Hi, this is Kwavi from Kwavi.com. I'd like to welcome you to my video blog this week. Today we're going to be discussing the scale. Yes, the scale. You know that tool that we use? You step on it, it gives you a number. That's what we're going to be discussing today. So what is your relationship with your scale? Friends, enemy, frenemy, depending on the day? When I work with my clients, I like to uncover their relationship with the scale because that is so important in us moving forward, whether they're trying to maintain their weight loss or they're trying to lose weight. Uncovering the relationship you have with the scale is very important. Some of my clients try to take up everything that they have before they jump on the scale. Some need to use the restroom before they jump on the scale. And what I try to tell them when they do this is, it's a number. And sometimes we try to hide from that number or we're scared to see that number, but quite frankly, it's a number. And I want you to focus on that. Just focus on the number, it's a number. And when you have a number, it doesn't really mean anything until you have thoughts about that number. And what are your thoughts about the number when you get on the scale? Do you get mean about it? Do you get really scared and anxious? Whatever you feel about the scale and the number it produces, it's just your thoughts. And let's say for instance, you get on the scale and it's higher than you thought. All that means is you need to tweak what you're doing in order to lose weight. It could be maybe you're eating more joy foods then you need to. And joy foods in Kwavi.com land means foods that don't provide any nourishment, they only just provide joy to you. Maybe you're fog eating, or maybe you're storm eating, or maybe you're just eating larger portions than you need to. Or in Kwavi.com land, you are eating when you're not hungry. That's all it means. It doesn't mean that you've done something wrong. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It doesn't mean, you don't need to get anxious about it. It's a number. I have a worksheet that I normally work with, that I use with my clients, and I've enclosed that in this video blog. So if you read the video blog on my website, you'll get access to it. All you have to do is click, click on it, and you'll get access to it. And that worksheet helps to help you understand what the number on the scale means and helps you to really be, have a relationship with the number in a way that is positive, in a way that allows you to move forward and embrace that number and realize regardless of the number, it's a number. And it's just your thoughts about it that make it good or bad. It's neutral, really, it's just a neutral number. Thank you for listening to my video blog this week. And if you have any questions about this, I would really love to hear them. And when you're working through the worksheet and you've completed it, Tell me your thoughts about that too. I'd really love to hear that. Take care.